So we're going to wait for these two to destroy each other. Uh, what are you doing? And you're just sat here. Literally doing nothing. You have no allies. I could just do con- Oh, they'll be next to the ill men. Damn it. Yeah, I don't really want to be next to this guy. But we're already next to uh, lesser Poland. Who could defeat greater Poland. Which could be a big problem. I'm going to let my men kind of come back. Uh, you should probably train troops. But we're going to let our men come back a bit. Let's see what happens here. Yep, they're fighting each other again. Yep, that should be Lithuania's win, actually. I'm actually doing quite good. I could go and attack him now, though. No, I cannot, actually. I could attack Lithuania, but only a conquest. But we've got two extra provinces. I think we've done quite well. Damn, but look at this, though. Everyone is growing quite quickly. Cilicia, uh, these two are not really grown. Pomerania, nope. Okay, just a few. Coronia. Ilman. I was thinking of Chud as well. But, nope. I was thinking of playing as them. Yeah, these guys have just lost. That's subjugation. Yeah, he's going to gain a lot. Never been as short as a soldier. Is perfect. So we've got... Oh no! my Most men has gone down. Why is this? At one point we could have up to 2,000 men. How did this happen? I've grown tired of cynic ways of Ingvar and his conviction that everybody lies. For example, I never lie. <laughs> of course, yes. Uh, I never lie. So, we, have a, we need a bit more money. How much money do we need to build the next thing? 74 gold. So we need to get some gold. Again, they're fighting. Lithuania has 700 men. I could just do a conquest, but I'm going to wait to see if he's finished. We're now known as the Bold. Ah. Chief Igor the Bold Dragovich. That sounds like a good name. That sounds like a good name, if you ask me. Uh, okay. Draw my visit. Oh, he's making Lithuania like me. Actually, do you know what? I'm more scared of Kiev now. I'm far more scared of Kiev. Make Kiev like me. Okay, looks like the Polans are having a good fight. Though Greater Poland looks like they're going to lose. Looks like Greater Poland is not so great after all, maybe. Maybe Lesser Poland is the real one. Just trying to be very careful. Sorry if it's going a bit slow at the moment, but we really need to be careful. We're in a precarious position. We're not playing a Charlemagne. And there you go, Charlemagne looks like he's formed the whole of West Francia. He's inherited Middle Francia. Okay. What happened to his brother? Died a natural death. It looks like he lost everything, though. It looks like his brother took it from him. What a mean, mean brother. Pepin Carlin. Okay, claims. The Empire. He's a claim on the Empire. Has the Empire ever been formed? Okay. As you can see, Charlemagne has 23 Marshall. That's pretty amazing. Uh... Nope, nothing else is really going on. The Lombardy, you know, got a few revolts here in Francia. Um, I'm not sure if it's Francia or Fran Francia. I think it's Francia, because I know it's the Franks. So I'm assuming it's Francia. Like I say, my knowledge of this time period is, is probably my worst, actually. The Abbasids have not fallen apart. I would really hope they would. This guy's losing as well. So they accept a peace. Ah, he actually won. So he was able to defend his lands. So how many men do you have now? 900. Might be a good time to attack. Might be a good time to attack. And we cannot. We have no Cassie Belli. Okay. So we can attack her. We can't attack him. Uh, we can attack... We can't attack uh, Poland. We can attack Lithuania. We can't attack you, and we can attack you. Okay. Interesting. So we could only attack uh, this one, this one, and this one, really. Not going to attack Kiev. So we need to look at these ones. So I could just attack him now and get rid of him. That would probably be a good choice. Because he's only got 400 men. But I kind of want to wait for Lithuania's war to finish. 701 men. Do you know what? I might just attack him now. 
Gets a little conquest on one place. Vilnius. I kind of want, yeah, I kind of like this one. I guess we could probably take this. Um, that's probably a good choice. I could probably take this, conquer this. Uh, we can have one more demand. And actually, I have no vassals anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we could take this. Um, that will then hurt his armies. At the moment, he's fighting and he, has, he hasn't got enough men anyway. Let's do it then. I'm going to declare war. We're going to weaken him while he's fighting. Maybe when we fight him, we weaken him so much, he actually loses this war. That'd be nice. And then we could attack this guy after as well. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do it. Has he got any allies? No, no allies. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. I'm going to take the chance. The people around me might attack me. Let's check. She's not at war. Great Poland's at war, though. 1,200. That is a lot of men he can call upon. I'm just worried one of them will attack me, such as her. Kiev is a big problem. She's likely going to attack me. Because... She's likely going to attack me because she has Bohemia on her side. Is Bohemia at war? No. Why is Bohemia not at war? Come on, Bohemia. How far along is this war gone? 100% in favour of Lithuania. Okay, so he's just won that war. So he's taken that. Uh, Konkopolsk. So 600 men he has. Uh, we could probably attack you. No, we cannot. Okay, so we can't attack him. Yeah, I wouldn't mind attacking him. That here, that would split up his land. Then again, his land's over here anyway. Do you know what? I'm going to attack him anyway. He's less men. It's the way to do it. Attack. I might regret this. I have a feeling I'm just going to regret this for some stupid reason. Like, everyone's just going to attack me. Because everyone's assholes in this game. For some reason. Um, can you get married? You're our next best counselor who's not married. Yes, you can. She's a genius. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one. Just, uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that one to myself. Just, just, you know, just gonna keep the woman to myself. Okay, 1,400 men. Okay, we'll let them all go to Minsk, because it's the forest. And then we'll head right towards there. I don't see any of his men. Okay, let's get my... Marshal ready. Now, I'm actually the best, so I'm going to lead the charge. Then again, do I want to lead? I'm a bit worried he'll die. Do you know what? In the center, we'll have our Marshal. He's the Marshal, marshal for a reason. We'll lead the side, and then he is the next best one. And we'll go straight here. It's planes. Okay, he's going to come down here. We're just going to go straight here. Yeah, you can take that land if he wants. We're going to take his land first. Uh, we could, again, now we can have 2,000. Up to 2,000 for some reason. So hopefully we can gain some more men as the war progresses. Suspicious circumstances. So this man died, the guy of Legate. So who inherited? Gada Vilakia. Gada Vilaka? Okay, interesting. Uh, he's taken this. Luckily, none of my enemies are attacking me. This is good. He's going to get that first because he got there first. I'm going to keep my men together though. So as you can see, I have 64% even though he took that. It dawns on you one day that there is plenty of intrigue happening right under your nose. Your servants from the kitchen maids to the stable boys share juicy gossip with each other on a daily basis. If you want to improve this twisted game of manipulation and deceit, then perhaps you ought to dive in and join the prattle. Said and done. Well, I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, there's no reason I wouldn't. Said and done. Yeah, he's gonna head straight here. Ooh, we surrender. Okay. Yeah, perfect, except. So there we go, he decided to give up. I'm, <laughs> that's nice. It's nice to see the AI was actually Quite smart. He knew he was going to lose. Maybe he, I guess he didn't want to lose more men because he knows if he does, uh, he's screwed. Everyone around him will attack him. So we're doing quite well right now. Better than I thought. My wife is finally pregnant. 
after three years of baby making. Okay. So Lee Gate, we might want to attack you now. Though then we we're getting quite close to Illmen, but Illmen looks like they're having trouble with uh, Moron. Let's have a look. He's been attacked by two people. He's defending against two people, so it looks like everyone's attacking Illmen. We're going to take a piece of the pie. Kiev, we're going to leave, which is okay, because I don't want to get close to the Magyars. Uh, West Francia looks fine. Got a few rebels. Lombardy's in a little bit in trouble. Croatia has gotten bigger. Check out the world. I say, but it's going to be interesting what happens in this new download content. It's going to be fun to see what happens, how the AI works. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, everything looks normal. Saxony hasn't really done much. Disappointingly. Uh, okay, so the question is where to go next. We can't declare war on him. We can't declare war on Lithuania, obviously. We can attack Lee Gate. Uh, Lesser Poland. Oh, can't attack Lesser Poland. Damn. Um, and you. So we can't really attack anyone except for Lat Gale. Hmm. Lat Gale is really our only choice. The, I mean, Kiev, obviously, but I don't really want to. Yeah, and hopefully if we get this one. Can't even attack him because he's the... Uh... Okay, we could attack him. We can attack Coronia. There's 800 men. Okay, he could be a good choice. Okay, we could we could move into Coronia. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're going to start heading north. I'm not going to head south. We have the Magyars, uh, Avaria, uh, Morovia over here, Bohemia over here. We've got Poland's fight in Cilicia. We're going to start heading a bit maybe this way. We're going we're to take over this area, the Lithuania area. Maybe go a bit over here. Yeah, we're going to make this into an empire. Or a kingdom, should I say. Um, so let's attack this. How many men does he have? 400. And no allies. Well, we might as well just attack. Off of vassalization, actually. No, he'd never do it. Okay, declare war. Oh, my men have gone down. 1,100. Okay, let's get my martial trained troops. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit. Just going to wait a little bit more. Oh, so there you go. Lesser Poland has defeated Greater Poland. That is a worry. That is a worry. Slavic people. Wait, wait. Do we have the wrong religion in our land? Yes, we have Rumuva. We're going to have to change that, aren't we? We want to spread the Slavic. Slavic religion. Uh, you're too bad, actually. Ah. How about you be our new one? Uh, county religion converted 2%. She's attacked. Yeah, she's too likely. We haven't got a good enough chaplain. We're going to have to wait until we do. We're going to wait for some of our men to come back, though. Okay. Revoke the chieftain of Krakow. Uh, taking part in the gossip sessions of your servants has proved an enlightened experience. Not only have you learned a new ways to obtain sensitive information, but also that one of the milkmaids is secretly carrying the blacksmith's Unborn child. Oh, the scandal. Yes, indeed. Oh, the scandal. And Lesser Poland's at war again. Uh, defending Cilicia's subjugation of Poland. Ooh, interesting. If Cilicia were to win, that would be very scary. Indeed. I mean, I can defeat him now, but I kind of want my soldiers to reinforce. Or at least maybe get some event troops to appear. That would be quite nice. Okay, so wait for these to become re recently conquered. Go away. Uh, Krakowia. They're having some problems against this one. Viatic. Wow, everyone is really pushing. Everyone's going quite strong around me. We can't let ourselves fall behind. Why has no one attacked you? How is this even possible? You know what? I'm going to attack him. We might as well. People around me, are they at war? I'm just going to check. So you are. Lithuania is trying to get over the loss. There's 900 men right now, actually. Maybe I don't want to do it yet, then. He is 600, though. But he was not at war. Poland is, though.
I'm going to leave it for now. I said I'm just going to wait for maybe some event troops to pop up. Okay. Kiev likes me a little bit more. Have we got better stewards? No. Those two other ones are terrible. Do we have a girl to marry you to? Nope, just a genius girl. A daughter. Okay, nothing special about her. She's just a normal, ordinary, uh, little Russian girl. Well, Russian area, I guess. What? Well, this is probably more... This isn't even in Russia, is it? Oops, that's the religions, uh, cultures. Yeah, Ilmanian. I guess Ilmanian is kind of the Russian. Hungarian's quite big down here, actually. Uh, Volhynian. Kind of next to the Lithuania, I guess. Okay. We still don't have enough money yet. I told you, money is very uh, small. And Viatich is now just grown. Even bigger. That can be scary. Yeah. That's a scary one. He is four. But I have six. So he's quite a scary one. one let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's actually on a similar position to me. So that's sad. That's very saddening for me. A lot of people around us are really catching up. Okay, we're just going to attack you then. Check your armies again. Yep, still 400. Might as well. Conquest, Latgale. Most likely won't hurt our armies too much. It's planes, planes. Yeah, it's fine. It's across a river to attack us. So it's fine. We'll, we'll lower the speed a bit. I'm going to have to cross the river to attack him. So I'm going to cross the river first and then find a different way around. I'm not going to attack him from the river. That would be very dumb. Uh, 23rd. Okay, done. Okay. So we can go to uh, Polotsk and then attack him. I know Polotsk, a river flows. Uh, okay, where does not then? Vilnius does. Uh, Zemgale, obviously. Livmar? Livmar does not. And, yep, this one does as well. Wow, that's a really good spot. Okay, we're going to have to head around to here. Okay. Oh. I can't remember how to make him go the way I want. So we're just going to go this way. Okay. So we're going to go to here, and then here, and then we'll attack them. Oh no, my wife. She died. My poor wife. Well, maybe we could get a good alliance. These are all too young. These are all just little baby girls. We need a girl who's actually old enough to marry. Are you kidding me? I guess because everyone just had kids, so we're going to have to marry someone lowborn again. Which I don't want to do, because I'll lose prestige. I don't want to lose prestige. We've got a good amount of prestige right now. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so I'm going to wait. We have lots of girls about two, eight, uh, age two and stuff. We're going to leave it. If I die, my son will inherit everything, because we have elective Gavalkind right now. Yeah. We're going to leave it. Not many more kids. That will cause less trouble. Demence is too big. It's because I have no wife. Ooh. I have no vassals either, so who bloody cares? <laughs> who actually cares? No one. That's who. So actually, if he, yeah, if he moves there... Okay, he's not moving. Uh, but if he was to just move in, that'd be great. We could then just jump in. Okay. And then move here. Yeah, he knows it's coming. So we've moved up into Livorn uh, Livonia. And we're just going to attack. This is forest. So it's, you know, it's a forest, but it's better than nothing. I go again. I'm going to take off my guy. And he's going to lead the charge. I'll take this side. Okay. We should have enough men to defeat him quite easily, even though it's a forest. I declared Lithuania's irrigation. Oh, he's going for him as well. Yeah, we have to be quick then. Lithuania is heading in. We have to get there first. If we can just get her first... Except for November. Do you know what? Let me, see, let me see what happens then if I don't move. Is he going to move in? Okay, there we go. He's actually going to move, so I haven't got to attack him. I can just take the province and we're done. Come on, get there first. Don't let anyone come and take it. Yep, there we go. We've got it. That should be ours then. We should just be able to take that 
and we win. But it looks though like he's coming in as well. I don't know why he's going to come and help me. Luckily, he's not uh, an enemy. Yep, he's just going to come here and help me. Okay, thank you, Lithuania. Well, uh, it, it's nice to know you hold no grudge against us, seeing as we did kind of screw you over. I'm kind of worried about this guy, though, still. But luckily, if we don't lose any men in this fight, that'd be really nice. That would be really helpful for me. Almost done. Let's increase the speed. And he's even attacking them. There we go, 100%. Done. Enforced demand. So there we go, the war is over. Time to head home. Okay, so we've managed to grow a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not the best piece of land because it's across a river from us. But it's good just to increase. We need to make sure we keep growing. I can create a title, Duchy of Polotsk. Uh, we can't actually do it. I like the sigil, though. That's quite nice. Uh, the High Chiefdom of Yatviga. Okay, so we got this. I did not even notice. I prefer my one, though. Okay. Uh, demand's too big. We have no vassals anyway. I literally controlled everything. And my son will as well, so that's nice. Yep, no vassals. Uh, still not enough money, but we're getting prestige. Oh, and I... Nope, still can't do this yet. One more year. So things are going well, actually. The ruler's unmarried. We have to wait for that. Okay, so let's have a look at what to do next then. Again, uh, Kiev. Not a good place to attack. We have to wait for her to die, really. And then if she does have a child, Bohemia will inherit. Though she's still not had a child. Uh, Poland. It might be good to attack Poland soon. But I can't. Okay, Lithuania. We can't attack you until... Uh, 776. So it won't be too long before we attack them. Uh, Corona. Only has like 800 men. So he might be a good one to attack. And we can do it. So he'll probably be what we'll attack next. Uh, Livonia. We could attack you as well. Even less men. Do you know what? We're going to attack uh, Corona. I want to sort of this area first. But that's another good choice. So maybe when we have a treaty with him... Truce with him, we can attack these guys. That's quite nice. Uh, the Illman. Can't go to war with him, though. Okay, so these two we're going to concentrate on. Um, yeah, you are going to be a problem, I think. Yeah, 1,300. We don't want to attack him, and we can't. Uh, he's across the river. Maybe we can just leave him. 800 men. Can't attack him anyway. Yep, so we're going to concentrate on these ones up here first, for now. For now. Um, how's our men doing? Let's let our men increase a bit now. Seeing as we, we've kind of got ourselves protected. We've got a lot of land. People are going to look at us and probably think, don't want to mess with him. Probably. Hopefully. Uh, Let's Poland looks like they're going to win. Which is good because he's defending. Wait, who was it? 48% in favor of... Yeah. Poland. That's good. Yep, Cilicia's losing. That's good. So, lesser Poland won't gain anything, and neither will Cilicia. Uh, my prisoner's complaining about her cell. Uh, we'll be merciful, because my guy's kind. He's a nice guy. We can't ransom her. We might as well just release her. She's a nobody. Just release her. Obviously, uh, we can actually go raiding. So, I could go raiding against 